Hey guys, it's Isabel. So I hope you've noticed something, maybe if you haven't, but I got a new mic. So I hope my audio is so much better and crisper and clearer because I've been seeing a lot of complaints about it the past couple of months, especially since I've moved in to this place and it's all hardwood floors. So there's a lot of echo. So I hope that this mic is going to make a little difference. If you guys want to know which mic it is, I will link it down below. So I know it's been a while since I've put out any podcasts or videos or any content and I let some of you guys know on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, I have talked about releasing a course and it is something that is still a work in progress and it's going to be released to you guys. I just don't know when. I haven't been, let's just be completely honest with you guys. I wanna make this video because on Instagram and on social media, just in general and on YouTube, a lot of us just put out our highlights, our good points, especially me, I really don't share a bunch of my day-to-day -day with you guys, only through Instagram probably. But I try to keep my videos to being positive and good content, so I don't like, you know, to make videos on negativity, obviously. But I know that we're all human, and I'm making this video to remind you guys that even people like me who are more spiritual and are on our spiritual journey and have been through so many things to bring us to the point we are now, even I go through bad stuff, even though I'm very in tune with myself and law of attraction and things like that. I am human just like you and I go through and I suffer and I go through hard times and my life isn't easy by any means. This whole month has just been really tough for me. At first it was just like emotional anxiety related stuff, feeling really out of alignment, really out of whack and couldn't concentrate on anything and was you know just constantly in a bad place. Just mentally frustrated mentally and feeling like I was spinning my wheels, spinning my wheels and not getting anywhere. If you know me, you followed me for a while, you guys know that I don't like the feeling of being in a rut. I'm not the type of person who likes to wallow in a rut or in a hole. I like to <laughs> work things out. So yeah, and then this past week, something really tough happened and I'm not gonna go into detail, you know, maybe a little later on, but I had to cancel my trip to Tokyo, which I was super excited about. It was gonna be just my relaxation time finally after a tough month and it's been postponed, but that's not the issue. The issue is that I was focusing too much on things that didn't matter and I feel like right now what I'm going through is just the universe and God telling me this is just a wake-up call this is just to kind of get you focused in on what's important and that's what I feel that's the energy I'm getting from the universe through this and just through meditation and just contemplating that's what I feel like it is so staying positive is so important and I didn't realize I was wallowing in self-pity and feeling bad for myself the entire month and then this happened and it's just imperative that I stay positive and I don't try to dwell on what's going on wrong, what's bothering me, what's so bad about my life right now instead of focusing and being grateful that I essentially got a sign from the universe even though it wasn't the best kind of sign, it was just like a wake-up call to hey, you know, you need to shift your perspective on things. So, and I'm just talking to you guys along what I feel really myself, but of course it could be different for everyone. And I just want to make this a video because I get this question so much. How do you stay positive? How do you stay so upbeat? You guys know, I tell you guys all the time, I'm not positive all the time. I'm not all happy all the time, but I do when I get out of equilibrium, when I swing too much this way on the pendulum, then I have to find a way to get back. And I'm really good at finding myself, centering myself back. And I wanna share that with you guys because life is really a series of tests. Things happen because you need to be reminded of just how strong, resilient, and amazing you are. And those tests are like a wake up call to you when you're feeling like you're weak or you're feeling down and you're feeling depressed. It's kind of like the pain and all that, all the stuff you're going through and when you make it over, it's just to show you, the universe showing you directly how strong you are. And that's what you need to focus on. So just know if you're going through something tough, it's just the universe is saying, get through this, you'll get through this. And when you get out from the other side, you'll be even stronger. So the way you transcend negativity in your life is by, that's it, transcending it, going above it. What's above negativity? It's positivity. So when you're met with negativity or negative people or angry people, you will get more of that in your life and you will become that. You don't want to. You want to mirror and become exactly what you wish to be. So if you wish to be more positive, you need to mirror actions of a positive person, of what it means to be positive for you. Just know that you're never alone, that whatever you're going through right now, it might feel like 
everything's against you or nobody's on your side or things are just hard, just know that you're not alone, that there's somebody else on this earth who might be in the exact same position you are, maybe with a lot less or a lot more, but they're going through it. And the way that they will get through it or the way you will get through it is by the way you react to it and by the actions you take. Remember, you can't control anyone. You can't control what anyone else does. You can't control how anyone else reacts or how anyone else feels, but you can have that control over you. So instead of trying to control other people or other things outside of you, focus on yourself, on your inner self. So be grateful, be positive, and know that everything happens for a reason. And with that, let's start getting into my tips because I compiled a little list for you guys of what I do and what I feel works for me. If you guys would like to know what they are, then please keep on watching. So tip number one for me is to trust yourself. Trust in yourself, believe in yourself. You need to understand, even though you might not feel strong, even though you might not feel like you can make it, even if you feel like you're in at the end of your rope and on the last leg, understand that you are strong enough to pull through anything. And you have to believe that. Even if you don't, you have to act as if you are the strong person you think you have to be in order to get through this, if that makes any sense. Guys, humans have just overcome so many obstacles, so many downfalls throughout history and have become really great, amazing things and contributors to society. And despite so much, the greatest people in history have been through the worst pain imaginable, the worst circumstances imaginable, and perhaps that's what made them great. They were able to overcome so much hardship and become who they are now or become who they became in history and that's how you have to see things you are strong enough to withstand anything whatever it is you're going through and understand that a, you won't reach a new level of yourself without a new level of struggle so if things just got harder it means you just leveled up if things just got really really tough it's just because it's telling you hey you need to fight you need to fight more work harder to overcome this and guys I can't stress this enough if you're not struggling you're not getting stronger if you're struggling through something literally equates to getting stronger the harder something is the harder the rep the harder the mile the harder the push the harder whatever <laughs> the further it's getting you, the stronger it's making you. So always understand that. A lot of times our heart and our emotions and everything, our self, we are like a big muscle. And in order to make other things stronger, you have to practice it more. So instead of beating yourself up about what you're not, start focusing on the things that you are or the positive stuff and grow that stuff stronger like a muscle. Like when you're doing reps, do repetition all the time. Struggle through that last rep. And that's what you need to do with yourself, with your positivity, with your frame of mind, with everything in your life. You have to strengthen it like a muscle. So embrace the struggle, embrace the things that are going wrong, embrace the things that are hurting you, embrace this time and use it to work harder, as a sign to work harder, as a reason to work harder. Don't use it as a reason to feel bad about yourself. Don't use it as a reason to say, oh, why me? Instead, use it as a reason to get better. And you'll understand everything is rigged in your favor in the end. Tip number two is to get out of your mind. Now, this has totally been inspired by the book, The Power of Now, which a lot of you guys know I was reading. It's one of the new books that I'm reading. I would show you guys The Power of Now, but I gave it to my dad. But it's just such a strong and powerful book, and it's really helped me in my own journey and I'm glad that I finally read it because I thought it was just gonna be like a fluff feel-good piece and I don't like those fluffy feel-good books too much because they don't seem practical to me but what I'm trying to say is that book has taught me a lot about meditating and separating myself from my mind and my connection to being to source is separate from my mind and to understand that I am not my mind I am not my thoughts these negative thoughts that might be in my head or whatever negativity is floating around in there or my emotions they are not me I am a beam of light I am a soul I am an energy I am part of the universe I'm connected to the universe and in order to get out of my mind I need to realize that connection and in order to realize that connection, I need to let go of my mind, let go of my thoughts. So when you're feeling really down about yourself or just your situation or your life, you need to get back to that feeling of separateness from the mind. And I highly recommend reading, everyone talks about this book, but The Power of Now, it has really transformed me. I'll link it down below and I'll talk about some other books that have been helping me as well lately. I highly recommend meditation. 
where you're stopping all your thought and really getting into the now and getting into feeling present and being present just as a being, as a presence yourself, not all this thinking. So it's important to stop your thinking. And one thing that the book talks about is watching the thinker. So you literally separate from yourself. You separate the mind from you because you are not your mind. And you look at yourself as the thinker. You're watching what you're thinking, you're being aware of what you're thinking, of what your thoughts are, you're aware of how you're feeling. That's what you need to do, is separate yourself. That thinker, separate yourself from your thoughts. Be aware of the thoughts, and then get rid of them. Just like the book says, in the present moment, everything is perfect, everything is joy, everything is peace. And truly guys, that book has helped me so much in finding inner peace, centering myself in the moment, even in a bad moment, and centering myself and getting to that place, disconnecting from my thoughts and just being present is so, so powerful. Just understand you're not your mind. Just like the Buddha said, rule your mind or it will rule over you. Rule over your thoughts, stop your thoughts, stop thinking, and I know it's hard, but truly through meditation and read The Power of Now, guys, I cannot stress that enough read that book, understand that that is the key to moving on, moving forward. Tip number three is gratitude, guys. You need to practice gratitude. Gratitude in anything you wanna do in life. Being grateful for what you have takes your life to the next level. It raises your vibration. It just makes you a happier person. What I love to do is just get a journal and I have a journal dedicated to my gratitude list. And I write out when I'm feeling really bad or even if I don't have a sheet of paper or a pen, I just, say it in my mind or I speak it out loud and I start naming all things. I say, I am grateful for this. I am grateful for this. And just being in that moment and really focusing on the good and actually allowing yourself to feel the feelings of joy and gratitude is truly powerful and it helps really shift your mindset to a more positive mindset. So just be grateful for what's right and what is here for you right now, what is good and perfect. It might not be perfect, might not be all that good, but it is something that you have in your life and it's something you can be grateful for. And we all have something, no matter how small, we all have something we can be grateful for. You could even be grateful for right now, this device you're watching this video on. Just be grateful for anything. There's so much in our lives that we have good going on and sometimes we deem it not good enough or we deem it not great enough, so we don't focus on it, we're not grateful for it, it's, we take it for granted, so you need to shift, and that's something I've really had to grasp more than ever, because if I focus too much on the bad, it'll put more energy on the bad. So we're taking the power back from the bad stuff and putting the energy into the good stuff. What you focus on is what you bring back into your life. So make sure you're putting it towards positive things, positive thoughts, Gratitude list is the best way to get to a more positive mindset and just help your thoughts out. And understand that we can't have a perfectly positive, happy life all the time because then we wouldn't appreciate the good stuff. We can't control what happens to us in life, but we can control our reactions. So instead, see the bad stuff as the universe or God or life or whatever you want to believe is literally telling you, hey, you're focused on the wrong things. This is what you need to focus on. So focus on gratitude. Even if everything seems to be going so wrong right now, please just write down a gratitude list. Write down all the things that make you happy, make you smile the people in your life, the car you drive, the shoes you wear, the clothes you may have on, every single thing. And it just puts everything in perspective. Okay, I wanna show you. So, I don't know why I just felt compelled to talk about these two stones, which I have talked about numerous times, and we all have seen this beautiful stone somewhere. This is an amethyst, and amethyst is just so wonderful and calming and soothing. And even if you're not into crystals, it's beautiful, and these big pieces are even more gorgeous. They really make you appreciate the stone for its beauty. I just love the feeling amethyst gives me. It's something that, you know, I like to keep a small piece of tumbled amethyst with me at all times. And I also love angelite. You guys know I talk about angelite all the time and just its calming properties and its soothing properties and it's great during meditation and it's just calming me down so much right now. I was just drawn to them as they were sitting on my shelf and I just wanted to grab them. Even though I wasn't planning on talking about these in my video, I saw these and it was like they are calling to me so I'm gonna take that for what it's worth. Crystals are truly wonderful to me and they make beautiful home decor as well as 
great tools for healing and being your best self. Now on to my next tip and that is to stay away from negative people and negative self-talk. Again, we are trying to limit our exposure to negativity, especially when we're already feeling negative ourselves. We have to really limit our exposure to certain things. It's like the doctor tells you, you can't drink alcohol because it's gonna kill you. Are you gonna go to a bar and be around drunk people all the time? No, same thing. You're ordered to stay away from negativity. So what do you do? You stay away from those negative situations and those negative people and take alone time. A lot of times we think, okay, okay, if we're going through a tough time, we probably should be alone, we should probably be with people. Yes, you probably should be with people, but not the wrong people, not negative people. Be around positive people, be around happy people, be around people who will lift you up. Just because you feel like you have to be around someone doesn't mean you have to put up with negativity. You can take time for yourself, try to limit your interaction with these people and also limit your negative self-talk. You could also be the negative person in your life. Maybe you're the toxic person, you know? So it's important to also be aware of what you're telling yourself and the negative self-talk or just the negative thoughts that are running around your head. You know, focus on stopping your thinking like in the power of now and just get rid of that negative self-talk and the self-pity because the self-pity will make you feel like you're weak. Self-pity is for the weak for me. I don't like it. You know, it's okay to have a little pity party, which I will get to later on. But if you're just wallowing and saying, oh, poor me, why me? And just wallowing in your own self-pity and making yourself feel worse, that's your fault. You can control that. You can control. Instead of saying all this why me, poor me stuff, say I'm strong, I am capable. There's a reason this happened and it's gonna make me better and everything's gonna be better and I need to work harder, whatever it is. So you can't be that negative person either. Don't be around those negative people and don't be that negative person. Tip number five is to take each day at a time. And what I mean by that is a lot of time when we're going through stuff, we all of a sudden start thinking of all the worst things that are going on in our lives and all the things we have to do. We start putting the whole world on our shoulders and we think, oh no, but what about this? What about that? If you are faced with a pressing issue at hand, don't get overwhelmed and say, oh my God, look at all these problems. No, take one day at a time. Take the first one that comes to mind, the toughest one, whatever, and start working on it now, the most pressing one. Don't put it to the side. Don't work on lesser important things. When there is one main problem at hand, you need to handle that and stop worrying about all the noise or whatever's going on around you. Taking things one day at a time. Also, just doing things every day to make yourself feel better. Do one little task, change your routine just a little bit, whatever it is, add 15 minutes of meditation to every morning, whatever you have to do, but just do something every single day that's going to build up and make you better. And don't think about how long you have to do it or whatever, or this and that. Just Focus in on it every second when you're doing it. So whether you're walking up and down the stairs, focus on every step you take. Do things like that to really make you present, bring you in the moment, make you feel calm and at peace. Instead of worrying about the future or the past, we can't control the past, so it's important to leave it there. And the future, you know, it's in our hands, but we don't have to worry about it right now. What's most important is the present moment. Just don't overwhelm yourself, guys. I promise you, everything will get worked out in its time. Everything will get better in its time and you just need to focus on the main thing right now. You can't overwhelm yourself with too many things at once. Be like, okay, I won't worry about that today. I'll worry about that tomorrow. And it reminds me of Gone with the Wind and Scarlett O'Hara says, I can't think about this now. I'll go crazy if I do. I'll think about it tomorrow. After all, tomorrow is another day. Since I was little, that stuck in my mind, that part. You can do that with your thoughts or whatever. Make a to-do list for today, and if you don't get through everything, whatever, leave it for tomorrow, or leave the tough stuff for tomorrow, or just mentally make a note. Okay, can I handle this right now? No, it's not important. Okay, I'll leave it for tomorrow. And I know that it sounds like procrastinating, but honestly, it really helps you center your mind on what's most important. And getting over the really tough times or the tough moment or whatever, getting over that completely so then you can start with full energy on the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And understand that in life you're going to have multiple things coming at you at once. But what matters most is what is important in that moment and what's important in the long run as well. You have to balance things out. I can't tell you what's more important. It could be what's ever happening right now in the moment or it could be what you're building on for the future, whatever. But you have to make that decision. And once you make that decision, nothing else matters. I know it's so easy to get overwhelmed by the things going on, by your present circumstances, but just know that 
this bad time, this rough thing you're going on, you will get through it, you will overcome it, you will become stronger, and that is your choice. That's like the theme of this whole video. Everything is your choice. It wasn't your choice, what happened to you was not your choice. It could have been you attracted it into your life, but still, we're not gonna worry about that or dwell on it. I hate when people dwell on things. It's really important to just focus on beating it and moving on and becoming better. And don't dwell on why it happened or why me or feel pity or whatever, but understand that it happened for a reason and that reason is ultimately working in your favor and everything is gonna be better and I know it. If something really bad happens and you lose somebody or you lose something or you know your whole world collapses, it'll be hard, it absolutely will. But it's like a new level of your life. Your life is all about changes. Once you let go of the outcome and just focus on being the best person you can be right now to reach whatever outcome you want, that's all that matters. Don't worry so much about the outcome. Worry about what you can do right now in this moment. In this moment, that's all that matters. So this goes on to my last tip and that is just to allow yourself to feel. <laughs> allow yourself to be a wreck, allow yourself to cry, allow yourself to let out your emotions, grieve, whatever it is, if you're grieving, if you're just going through a tough time, allow yourself to feel those things. Right now what's helping me a ton is reading and right now filming and, and doing my hair and makeup, doing my hair and my makeup and all this and getting ready to film and filming actually helps a lot for me and it's been very therapeutic, relaxing. I just love talking and being with you guys and I love creating. Work on something or do a little project or a chore, I love that. That's really been helping me a lot. So please don't just bottle things up. Bottling things up just makes things harder in the long run and makes you suffer more. Let it out. Cry. Cry with somebody. Journal it out. Let your feelings out. Run it out. Whatever you have to do. But don't feel like you have to get up, hit the ground running immediately after something happens. You can grieve. Of course, you need to work every day. Don't follow into a hole of destruction. But just allow your feelings to come out. Talk to somebody, whether it be a friend, a family member, a counselor, anybody. Talk to somebody about what you're feeling. Don't bottle things up. Be very open and real and vulnerable because that way you'll be strong in the end. And find a release, guys. It's so important. Like, my release right now is doing this video. It's going to be editing, creating, just, you know, doing stuff related to my business and working on the course that I'll have for you guys soon. And I'll make a video talking all about the course when it's out. But allow yourself to feel. Don't feel bad about having emotions. It's normal. It's human. You're going to break. You're going to crack, you're going to, you know, so many things are gonna happen because we're human, we're not perfect. And you don't have to be perfect at every moment. You can have your moments of bad, of emotion or whatever, but what is really important after you have a pity party, after you cried out, after you cry all night, whatever, you get up and you keep working on yourself even if you don't feel good. That's where everything changes. Even if you don't feel good, show up. Even if you don't feel your best or 100%, you don't have to be your best or 100% to succeed. If you can get up, you can get up. You can keep going. And nothing is holding you back more than yourself. Understand that. You, you right now, you, you right now, you are in control of you right now. You are in control. You are the controller of all this. Don't say, oh, because of this, I'm like this, or because of them, or because of that. No, you hold the ultimate power to everything inside of you. You can control any situation. You have to realize that. So once you have your little pity party, you need to flip it over and take charge. Do little things every single day to make yourself feel better. Because yes, in that moment, I know it's tough. I know when the bad times hit, you feel like giving up, you feel like the worst thing, but understand that those thoughts and those feelings aren't true. You don't have to give up. You're not broken. You can rest when you're dead. <laughs> you're not dead, you're alive. You're, with, you're full of so much energy and full of so much greatness within you. And the hard times are just here to remind you of how great and how strong you truly are. Tell you, hey, you know, your perspective is off. I have attracted the stuff that I'm going through right now. I attracted it into my life because I was being a little whiny baby at the beginning of this month, I was going through tough stuff and it was really getting to me. I was getting super, super overwhelmed and super sad and oh my God, guys, just the month of August, I've, it's been a struggle for me and people could say it was retrograde, it's whatever. I don't know what it is, but I know that I have control over my emotions and I should have taken control of myself earlier and I was like all of like wallowing in self-pity and oh my God, poor me, like this is so tough, what do I do? And making a huge deal out of nothing and I finally have realized that because of this other stuff that happened that told me hey 
you need to focus on what's important. Focus on the people that matter. Focus on just being more present and stop worrying about things and making a big deal out of things that don't matter. And that's what I what I've gained from this is that I can control. I can't control how other people act, but I can control the energy I put out into the universe. And I'd rather be a force for positivity because if everyone around you is being negative, you need to be the most positive. You need to be the ray of light. You need to be the spark in the room. You need to be the sunshine. Don't fall into the negativity. Don't fall into it. Don't let it attract you. Don't let it consume you because it is so, so, so good to wallow in sadness. We feel like we have to be sad. We feel like we have to be a part of it. In order to separate yourself from it, be positive. So you are in control of your emotions. You might not be completely in control of your circumstances, but you are in control of how you react to your circumstances and the things that are going on in your life. Like I told you guys, reading has been a really great release for me. It's really helped me. It's really helped calm me and the power of now. I don't have the copy of it right now in my hand, but you guys need to check it out. It's one of my favorite books that is changing my life and I'm reading it and rereading it and just getting into it because I love it so much. If you're going through a really tough time and you're finding it hard to focus on anything or to get your mind off of the bad stuff or to be more positive in general and you want a good book, I always recommend The Alchemist, even if you have read it before. I know it's super popular, but this book really got me into the law of attraction. It really got me into positive things and like everything is rigged in my favor and everything happens for a reason. So please pick up The Alchemist, read it online, whatever you have to, but if you're going through a tough time, I know you might be crying, you might be in the worst place of your life, but please at least try to muster up the strength to read this book. It's very short. It's something you could read in one night when you can't sleep or you need comfort. It's a really great book. Also, reading The Secret, all those books are great too. Anything Law of Attraction related. Four Agreements is also very wonderful in telling you to take back your power from life and this dream world that we essentially live in. Create your own peace, create your own story, create your own rules. I really love this book. It's really been helping me. I haven't finished it yet because I started reading The Power of Now. A lot of people talk about it and I highly recommend it. And then also Sacred Powers by David G. And this is a really calming book. It's very soothing. I felt very powerful after I read this the first time. And then I always read a book once and then I go through and reread it again just in case I didn't catch anything. So that's why, you know, I stop in one book and then I go back, you know, I, I reread in sections sometimes. It really helps just to comprehend the book. It's a lot about working with yourself, working with yourself internally. And I think I might go back and read this right now because I feel very inspired. <laughs> Books are really great. Everybody has something that helps calm them down, but I highly recommend picking up a book that is, can be like The Alchemist. The Alchemist is a fiction book and it's magical. It's amazing. If you were into fiction, please pick up this book. Of course, if you're more into self-help, these books are also really great and I like this one a lot, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. It's very empowering. I think that's all I have for today. Just know that whatever you're going through, it's not forever and you will get through it as long as you stay positive and focus on the good and be grateful for what you have right now, even though it's not perfect. Be grateful you're breathing, you have air in your lungs, you have life to live. You're so much more than just your body. You're so much more than many things. Your weight, you're so much more than the way you look. You're so much more than your physical condition. Know that your spirit, your soul, you are connected to the universe. You are powerful. You are stardust. You are amazing. And don't forget that. Don't let these little hindrances in life, big or little, don't let anything deter you from that and realizing how truly powerful and strong you are. And you don't only need to be strong and, and positive for yourself. You need to be strong and positive for everyone around you, for your loved ones, for the people who care for you. Because as long as you're strong and positive, they'll have power, they'll have strength. You just by being positive and being a positive force, you are doing so much just for our world because we live in such a negative world. We need more of the good stuff. So be a force for good. Smile at somebody today. Hug your loved ones warmly and tightly and be there for your friends. Remember, charity starts at home. <laughs> so be there for the people that are closest to you. Be positive for them. And that way you can heal the world. You can heal your family. You can heal so many people just by being that healing power of positivity and gratitude. I love you so very much. And no matter what you're going through, you're not alone. Life is ups and downs. And that's why we need to appreciate the ups. Even though everything might not be perfect life is never gonna be perfect not everything's gonna be in line because you'll see that when one good thing happens when bad thing will happen when one bad thing happens a great amazing thing will happen and that's just life and we're here to enjoy it and have fun and learn from it and grow and be good people 
and don't let these parts hinder you. You have to find the strength and the reason for things and be strong for those around you and maybe those that you lose. You need to be strong for everyone and live your best life because life is so short. We're not here to be negative or angry or fight. We're here to live a beautiful, amazing life. So. Don't forget that. Life doesn't have to be a struggle if you don't want it to be. That's what this book goes in, The Four Agreements. It's amazing. The Four Agreements is great, and I think this is a great book. Can't stress this one enough in the power of now. All right, guys, so I have a feeling that this video is a million years long, like all my videos. If you want something a little bit more lighthearted and rambly, whatever, <laughs> I do have a Q&A that I have procrastinated so much in putting it up, and this was filmed like a week ago or so, or a week and a half ago, so it's a little older, but I will have that video up if you guys want to check it out and see more content from me. I'll link it down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more positivity and more uplifting videos and just connect as a community because I love you all so very much. And don't forget to follow me on social media I'm on Instagram snapchat and Twitter and know that we all post our highlights I haven't even been posting on Instagram because I just like to get away from my phone and get away from social media and just be there in the now be there for my loved ones that's the best I can do so that's what I'll do <laughs> understand that not everyone's life is perfect even people like me we go through struggles everyone goes through struggles it doesn't matter who it is but all that matters is your reaction to it. I love you guys so very much. I'm sending you all my love and all my strength and all my positive vibes to you. No matter what you're going through, know that I'm with you and I'm rooting for you and I believe in you and I know that you can get through anything and you just need to keep pushing every single day and working every single day. You'll see, you'll get through it. I love you guys so very much and always remember no matter what you may be going through, no matter what your present circumstances are, no matter who you are in life, no matter what you look like, nothing matters, <laughs> only this. Your true beauty, your true worth, and your true power always come from within. I love you guys so very much, and let's write each other inspiring, happy stuff in the comments and words of encouragement to anyone, whoever you feel inspired to send words of encouragement to, write them in the comments or reach out to them. Just be a light in this world. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!